Hello everyone. Today let me introduce you to one of my bestest friends. That is Monstera Deliciosa. Yeah. Today I'm going to talk about how to take care of Monstera deliciosa. So Monstera is a plant of tropical rainforest. They grow under large trees and climb into them. And the foliage, the large foliage and the space between the foliage is called the fenestration. Why there is fenestration? Because there is very low sunlight that reaches uh, to the ground in tropical rainforest because of the canopy that is formed uh, over their head. So the minimum uh, sunlight that reaches down to these plants, they make sure that the leaves of uh, underneath get at least some of the sunlight. That is why the fenestration is there. When we are growing Monstera in our households, we need to make sure that uh, we give them indirect bright light because in the wild, they do not get direct harsh sunlight. So keep it beside a window, but make sure that it gets at least uh, one hour of morning sunlight. Watering need of this plant is a bit tricky. You need to water this plant only when the top layer of the soil is dry. How do you know that the top layer of the soil is dry? You just stick your finger in the potting mix. If the soil sticks to your hand, like it is sticking to my hand, that means the plant doesn't need water now. When uh, the soil will not stick to your hand, that means the top layer of the soil is dry. Only then you water the plant. And misting is another key factor for this plant because we all know that in tropical rainforests, every day uh, at 4 o'clock rainfall happens. So you mist the plant to get plenty of moisture to its aerial roots. And you give them a climber. Like in the wild, they climb onto the larger trees. But in your household, they do not get that. So give it a coconut coir stick or moss stick, whatever is available to you but you have to give them something to climb up to. In the wild, due to heavy rainfall in tropical rainforest, the nutrients washes out from the soil. So the fertilization requirement of this plant is not so much high, but you can give them nitrogen-based fertilizer. Uh, vermicompost, natural compost is a good option. You can also give them NPK balanced fertilizing fertilizer once in a month, once in a couple of days, whichever you prefer. Personally, I prefer natural fertilizer, but you can also give them any chemical fertilizer that suits you. You will be happy to hear that this plant is pest resistant, but in some cases you can notice a little bit of pest attack like spider mites, mealy bugs, etc. Uh, in that case, you can give any uh, available pesticide, any homemade pesticide, whichever you prefer. Personally, I prefer neem oil. Neem oil works for me very well. Uh, you can give them any kind of pesticide that is convenient to you. To keep the foliage of the plant bright and shiny, you can wipe it with a cotton cloth. But make sure that you do not do it underneath because they like the stomata of the plant and they might be clogged if you wipe the underneath part of the leaves. I think I have covered all the points of taking care of Monstera. Stay green visioned, subscribe to my channel for more such updates and have a good day. Bye.